Hey everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal, and uh, I'm a little bit laughing to the point of crying because I started this video, it was going so beautifully and perfectly, and then Brian needed to get something for his podcast that was on the other side of the room, so he actually started <laughs> crawling across the floor, and it, he totally interrupted, so uh, it just really hit my funny bone, and I was like, okay, I can't really get mad about this because... Uh, you can't be stealthy uh, crawling across the floor. Anyway, uh, I wanted to bring you this really amazing thing that I do every year, which is every January, and I actually do this twice a year. I do it in July as well. I do this beautiful cleanse. Now, if you think about what we do during all of the holidays, and it's not everybody, and I don't do this all the time, but I kind of catch myself overindulging. We eat too much sugar. We drink a little bit too much alcohol. We eat a little bit too much of the wrong foods. And sometimes it's just simply because we're in a social situation where we're not paying attention to the amounts we're eating, what we're eating. And we are a little bit mindless about what we're doing. And sometimes it's just the pure, sheer enjoyment of being with our friends, being with our family, and enjoying all the beautiful, yummy food that's available. And truly, truly trust me, this is something that I believe is one of the most beautiful things about being a living, breathing human, human being. Our souls get this body so that we can enjoy. So what I've really put into place, and this has been, I've been doing this more than 20 years, and it's been such a game changer for my health, is that during the week between Christmas and New Year's, I really start to dial a couple of things in. I'll sit down and I'll make, first of all, I'll make a list of all my goals. And this is, you know, can be anything, business goals, relationship goals, financial goals, um, all the things that I really want to, to think about doing and take myself mentally into the new year. And then also during this week, which is where we are right now, we're right in the middle of Christmas and New Year's. We are in 2021, so we're about to go into 2022. And I take this week and I really reaffirm my health goals and what I personally do for prevention. And I know for a lot of people, it's very, there are different things that we do because even though we have a lot of similarities, because we're human biology, we have things that are different for us. So one of the things that has been something that I truly look forward to every January 1st is doing a candida cleanse along with a parasite cleanse. And this is something that many of you have probably heard me talk about. And it's been, in my opinion, as the years have gone on, it's been one of the things that has been a key game changer in the way that my health has been able to stay really steady and really solid as I've gotten older. So the two formulas that we put, we actually put these together, we call it a cleanse pack. It's the mycoside, and this is an anti-candida formula. Now, candida is an overgrowth of yeast from too much sugar, too much stress. It might be an overuse of antibiotics for some people, but you know we're a modern society who's still trying to cope and deal with our sugar addictions, and it can be very, very difficult. So our bodies, with the stress involved, even if you haven't been on antibiotics for a while, but you have a lot of stress hit you, it just makes our immune system uh, go down and it leaves us open for these microbes that love our biology. So this is just something really simple and really beautiful that you can do as a preventative basis. So the mycoside is for candida. And then what we find is if you tend to have an overgrowth of candida, and it might even be just something you don't even notice. Like I feel perfect, I feel great, but that is the time to, to keep your prevention in, in, in line because why wait until you've, you are completely feeling horrible um, to try to do something about it? Because it can still be successful, but it's a little bit tougher to actually try to fix something than to prevent something, and we all know that. So if you have an overgrowth of yeast, what we find is it makes a perfect place for parasites to thrive. And parasites are part of our biology. Um, it doesn't mean it's anything to freak out about. It's just something to be aware of and be proactive about. So the mycoside is um, a formula. The main anti-yeast uh, herb in there is lamatium. There's sarsaparilla, there's uh, cayenne, uh, some cayenne pepper, and then there's some poke root. And those are such a beautiful combination of herbs that really help go after candida. Now, the beautiful thing that we've found is when you add 
the Clarkia, you've got the anti-candida and the anti-parasite formula together. It's such a beautiful blend of herbs that help go after those two issues that tend to feed on each other. Because if you have candida overgrowth, you probably have a little bit of out of balance parasites. So what we suggest with the Clarkia, which is our parasite formula, is that you go two weeks on and you do a one week break. And then you go two weeks on and do a one week break. And you do that until the entire bottle is gone. Now you're gonna end uneven. So if you have your one week break toward the end and then you have some left in the bottle and you go for five days and it's gone, that's perfect. You don't have to get another bottle and finish off a perfect two weeks. I mean, you certainly can do that, but you don't need to. So I would just finish off the bottle wherever you end it. So two weeks on, one week break, two weeks on, one week break. And I would just do three times a day prior to a meal. So this is where it takes a little bit of, um, you have to put it on your calendar, you have to think about it, you have to keep the bottles handy where you're gonna use them. So it does take some, what I love to say is patience and consistency. Now the mycocide, you're not gonna take a break with the mycocide. So you're gonna finish the mycocide before you finish the Clarkia. Cause you're just gonna keep doing the mycocide even when you take that one week break from the Clarkia. So that is something that, you know, is, is just kind of important to know and think about and, and in, at the end of the day, not think about. Now I will tell you over the years that I've been doing this, there have been cleanses where I don't take that one week break. I just simply go through both bottles and put them together and I, and I go forward. I really, it really depends on how I feel. If I really feel like I have overindulged and I might be feeling a little bit tired, a little lethargic, I might, you know, be having a little bit of, you know, some, you know, you know, you could, we get to a point where we really, really understand and are intuitive about the way our body feels. And like right now I feel amazing. So I'm probably not going to, I'm not going to do this cleanse with that one week break in between. So it's not like it's a super hard and fast rule, but it is a good, a good protocol, especially if you've never done this cleanse before, I would definitely suggest that you do it with that one week break. Also, if you've never done this cleanse before, I would suggest that you go through a bigger bottle. So these two formulas come in a two ounce size and they come in a four ounce size. And if you've never done this cleanse before, I would definitely go through a four ounce bottle. Now, if you're a little intimidated by the whole thing, it's perfectly fine to go through a two ounce bottle, perfectly fine. Or maybe it's even a budgetary thing. Go through a two ounce bottle. It's still gonna be very, very effective for you. And the goal is just to go through the bottles, be consistent. And during that time, what I find is while I'm doing this cleanse and I'm taking these formulas, it's a deep reminder that I'm responsible for taking care of my human body and what I feed it. Because a lot of the things that we eat are gonna throw our body out of balance or keep our body in balance. And we are biology. It's really, really important that we take care of what we put in our body. In fact, one of the things that I really, really have tuned in and try very hard to do is to eat intuitively. You know, what, what makes my body feel good? You know, we all know that a big, heavy meal, especially late in the evening, it doesn't make you feel good. You know, all you wanna do is stretch out. And then what happens is when you go to bed, especially if you're eating late, right before you go to bed, then your body can't rejuvenate and repair while you're sleeping. It's too busy digesting food. So if we can rein that in during this cleanse, where we really are conscious of what we're putting into our body and how we're treating it, um, it can make a huge difference going into the new year, just with focus and clarity, because you know when you eat clean and you're going through a cleanse where you can literally feel things making a difference and happening, then you're gonna have a lot more clarity and focus and you're just gonna feel better in your physical body. You're gonna sleep better. Everything in your, in your whole world is gonna be better if you're truly taking care of this beautiful vessel that we have, this vehicle to move through life. Now, the, the other thing that I do, um, and I'm just gonna toss this in, and if you can do this, I really would suggest that you get it into some kind of preventative schedule. And that is, is our anti-cancer formula called ESIAC, E-S-S-I-A-C. We call this ESIAC 20. And this is a very famous uh, blend of herbs, and you can read more about it if you, you know, could look, you want to look it up even online, you could read about it. 
Um, but this has herbs that are blood cleansing, blood purifying. They have anti-mutagenic properties, which basically uh, prevent cell mutation. And this is um, in our cancer protocol. But again, it, let me, I can't stress enough, it's so much easier to prevent than it is to wait until you get something and then trying to cure it. And I think as modern humans, what we do is we just get in this um, thought process of we don't really change something in our life until something major happens, until we get this huge wake up call. And, you know, if, if that's how you choose, you know, there's, you know, there's no judgment. We all, we all get our path and our journey through this life. But from personal experience, um, to me, it is much, much easier to prevent than to, than to cure. So add that SEAC 20 in, and this is again, something you don't have to take a break on. Uh, just do it right along with the Michael side if you're gonna start this and do it same three times a day, get in there, cleanse the blood, give your body the power of all these nutrients and all of the dense medicinal properties of all of these beautiful plants. Um, Mother Nature put these plants on the earth to help heal humans. And we are, we are part of the planet. We are part of Mother Nature. And to think we're separate is, is um, it's an interesting way to think because we are connected. We depend on the planet for oxygen and nutrition and grounding. I mean, there's so many beautiful things about being connected to Mother Earth and she provides everything that we need. So I hope that this gives you a little pop of inspiration to get this final week of 2021 and really dial this in and you know make a make a pact with yourself that you're going to take care of yourself and you're going to do these cleanses on a consistent basis so that your body can perform for you the way that you want it to so i hope you have a beautiful day if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out and let us know if you want a pdf of our catalog which details all of this in it just send an email responding um, to the email that you're getting with this video. Um, I'll probably put this unlisted actually, just because there's a lot of information in here and uh, maybe it'll live on the YouTube channel. I'm not sure yet, but if you do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. And um, I hope you have a beautiful new year. I love you dearly and we'll talk to you soon.